Hi, this is Right Now. Um, that's Bobby. I'm Heidi. And we are cousins who read books. So and what did you... Will, and there will be spoilers. And this apparently up. today is going to be a spoilery episode. So yeah, what did you read? Yeah, the last one of mine was new and no one had read it, so I wasn't going to spoil it. This one's been out for a little bit, I think. Um, I read this week A Mirror Mended by Alex E. Haru. And <laughs> so... I'm just going to preface this with how I found the book and then I'll tell you about the book because so I have a bunch of I use the library app to listen to my books right and so I have to wait my turn just like everyone else about the library for them to come in and me listen to them see right? that's why I, I use YouTube I do whatever I darn well please <laughs> okay well <laughs> I just I'm like eh. um so while I'm in between books, like, you know, you finish a book and then I'm waiting for the next one to come in because you have to wait your turn. Um, I have lately been turning to people around me and I will ask them for a genre. And this time I turn to a guy who I work with. And so shout out to Ben in uh, RTM Ben. Anyways, um, he picked fantasy, which really didn't narrow anything down. And so that's I told very him, broad. yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's, um, let's go with, we'll pick two genres, shall we? And he then picked folklore for his second one, which narrowed it right down. Okay. And, uh, then I then go to available now and I find one that's about six hours because I don't know when my next book's going to come in. And so I found this book. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> I wish I could read the synopsis for you, but basically it hits you up with, Hey, this girl I'll just tell you about it and whatever, but she, her whole, I, I thought it was the first one. I always try to find the first in a series and I thought it was the first one. I don't think that this is, it might even be the last one. <laughs> so I'm not sure because they were, didn't have them numbered. They yeah. Like you're going to read bit. Harry Potter and you're going to start with number seven. Yeah, apparently and whatever. But apparently this girl is, uh, somehow, I guess she at some point got sick. She has some something wrong with inside her and they thought she was going to die but it's in what is it called when it's like just sitting there it's oh, like a like time a, bomb. like a benign tumor or and i don't know what it was but basically it's in there and it's not growing but it's not going away and it's not doing anything mm. but it's just sitting there and somehow she gets these this power or something that basically she keeps going to sleeping beauty stories that she will help the story, help the Sleeping Beauty of that that situation, and get out of it, and not prick her finger, or if she pricks her finger, help the prince kiss her awake, or whatever. And she's like, I've done this for forty nine princesses, and I'm kind of over it, and I'm sick of helping these people. Why can't they help themselves? It sounds like she has a brain tumor and is having hallucinations. Oh my gosh, she. It, like, I know it's fantasy. Yeah, but... no, she. And she says something, it keeps hinting at that she's actually Briar Rose or something, but I've never read that book or heard the story or anything. That's Sleeping Beauty. Briar Rose is, oh, that's right. That's her thing. Yeah. But like, maybe she is a Sleeping Beauty. I don't know. I'll have yeah, to go back and because she has a brain tumor. Ones. She's in a coma and oh, this is all in her head. Maybe. I mean, uh, what do I know? But they also, like, it starts off with, um, and it doesn't, it, this one is not graphic, it's not whatever, but it starts off with her, she's at like somebody's wedding, and she ends up with sleeping with somebody, which it doesn't say anything, basically, she just is like, you want to go back to your room? And then it says they wake up together, basically. So don't worry that it it's not explicit. Yeah, but, so it's like pan to moonlight. Yeah. Um, but then she wakes up, and she goes to the bathroom and looks in the mirror, and in the mirror, it's not her. It's, it's this like it's it ends up being, danger. It's it ends up being the evil queen, from Snow White. Snow White, and she's like, what the frick? And she ends up pulling her through the mirror, and she comes in, and basically, the evil queen is like, I got your book somehow from your because apparently as a kid, um, her parents gave her a book, and she basically fell in love with it, read it a thousand times, went and got a degree in folklore and all of this stuff. So she knows everybody's business from different countries. Cool. And she, so the queen's like, I read my story. And I don't know if you know, but I don't have a name. I literally, the I only have the name Evil Queen. So it's not, you know, like 
Sally or something. Yeah. And she's like, I'm kind of mad about it that I don't have a name and everybody hates me. And I read the end and I'm going to have to wear iron hot burning shoes and mm-hmm. I'm going to have to and dance, dance until I wedding. die. And I don't want to do that. Well, and she's you kind can't of really like, blame her. Yeah. And she's like, well, ma'am, uh, you kind of were a wiener and you tried killing the this nice 16 year old girl or whatever she was, 13 or something. And uh, that kind of it, she's really blunt like that, where she just is like, well, if you yeah, didn't try if you, killing people. If, if you weren't a queen who wasn't evil, you might get a name that yeah, wasn't the evil queen. Right. And so she ends up, like, chaining her up. And it's really weird because she's like, the only two ways I can get out of places is if I prick my own finger. So I guess she might be a sleeping beauty. Yeah, that's what it sounds um, like. Or she has to kiss someone. In which she tries kissing her. She kisses the evil queen. Okay. And uh, it's like... I mean, the evil queen is a someone, so... It is a someone. And the evil queen's like, what the frick? (laughs) And is like, no. So it doesn't work? she's like, nuts. So come to find that, like, she tries to get away. All this happens. She tries to take the mirror because she's like, I'm taking the mirror because she shouldn't have this thing. Maybe she can use it to get out. Yeah. And all this stuff. And they end up, like, getting ripped through time because she's like, I got to get out. I can't stay here. I'm going to die. Mm-hmm. Um, the the people show up to be like, oh, we're just taking you to a party. And the evil queen's like, you ain't taking me to a party. You're going to take me to kill me. And she's like, we got to go. Yeah. Who, and who something, falls for that? Yeah. She's like, if it was for a party, they wouldn't send so many men. Right. And uh, Plus, they would send a dress or something. Yeah. And... <laughs> Not this hood. <laughs> they wouldn't all have pitchforks and Not spears. this hood and these handcuffs. Yeah. And That's a different kind of party. Yeah. So they like, she, something happens and they, she basically grabs her and she tries to go through the mirror and they both get ripped through the mirror to a different Sleeping Beauty, not Sleeping Beauty, uh, Snow White story. And she's like, ooh, I don't like this one. It creeps me out. Like it was like a kind of a creepier one. Like it's all different Yeah, so ones. she's read a bunch of different types of Snow White mm-hmm. stories and... So now she's been pulled into like a, like a scary Snow White. Yeah. So there'll be different, uh, like sometimes there'll be steampunk, sometimes there'll be go- like horror, sometimes there'll be like, oh, this is the Swedish version, oh, this is you know, mm-hmm. whatever. It, it all there's like tons of different kinds that they have. Yeah. And so they get pulled through, and they're like, e- you don't like it. So the evil queen ends up like pulling through the mirror, pulling through the mirror, pulling through the, over and over and over a bunch of times. And they'll, finally the girl's like, stop, stop, stop. We're tired. Trying, this trying is, to find a version where she's not yeah, the evil queen. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh my gosh. And they end up like getting to this one where this girl comes running out of the woods and is like scared and it's like running. And she's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And they're like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And she's like, I can't, don't, you know, get out of my way. I'm trying to get away. They're trying to get me. And apparently they're, after her to kill her and they end up telling her hey um this in this story the lady takes the kids and eats them and so it's Hansel and Gretel a little bit okay so they're like oh frick uh well let's uh let's the girl is like okay well this is my whole story is I'm supposed to save people so let's do this and the evil queen is like shove off I don't like you. I don't know you. Well, and the evil queen found her. Yeah. I feel like this is the evil queen's fault. So they look over, They end up going and they end up finding a house. Come to find out it's uh, the godmother house. Like the... Like the fairy godmother The house? fairy godmother house. And she's tired. And you can tell she's like worn down and all this stuff. She's well, like, come yeah. inside and whatever. And she basically hints at this girl. She's like, bro, do you... All of these, she's like, I'm not even supposed to be in this story. I'm supposed to be in somewhere else. And because basically you're not ending your story, you're not like letting your life live, uh, you're kind of screwing the rest of us. And it's messing with all of the stories and they're kind of touching each other and it's Mm. messing us up. And she's like, well, I don't, you know, obviously she's like, I don't want to go back because that's when I die and I don't really want to deal with that and all this stuff, whatever. And then uh, the people come and they take the girl away and they're like, Rick, well, and they end up like hurting the godmother queen and the godmother lady. And she's like, oh, Rick, no, we ain't doing this. She ends up also naming the evil queen Eva, 
because they don't want to wander around and be like, this is evil queen. So she's <laughs> like, oh, I'm so-and-so. I can't even remember. I think she go. what does she go by? I don't even remember. And uh, she, uh, she's like, this is Eva. And this is, this is the evil, I mean, Eva. <laughs> and the evil queens, like, don't like it. But she doesn't say anything. And so they go through and she's like, well, we have to save her. They freaking punched out the godmother and they took the girl. So we have to go do this. And she's like, why? We don't need to do this. And she's like, dude, we got to go. So they get to the castle and they're like, the evil queen lady's like, what did you, what are we, what are, we have a butcher, we have one kitchen knife and we're supposed to just storm the castle with you and me. <laughs> what do you, what do you expect to have happen here? And she's like, no, 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 I know what to do. So they go over to the sewer grate, you know, they climb up the sewers and get into the castle. Oh, that's a fun know. way to get to the castle. Yeah. And so they end up. They, they won't see you coming. They might not hear you coming, but they'll, they'll smell you coming. coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they get in there and come to find out, they get into like where all the cell, gel cells are. And the parents are in there and they're like like oh my friend whose parents the girls the parents? girls that got taken so and the kidnaps no white's parents yeah okay and they're like oh frick but then when they're in there the mom's like stand back and she had some like gunpowder or something in the thing and they end up breaking out themselves and the girl's like why am i here if the parents are this like cool then uh, i don't even need to be yeah. in the story and so they end up going upstairs and come to find out the bad person in this story is Snow White. And she has been eating kids so she can stay young. Oh. Yeah, so it takes a turn. And it's like, oh, frick. So her, her you know how it says her skin is all nice and white and oh, whatever. And it's because she's been eating kids. Yeah, like vampire <laughs> Snow White. Yeah. Cool. And um, they, like, go up there and they get caught and all this stuff. And she had apparently texted her phone work. So she texts her people back at her real home. And sends the thing, and she's like, help us, help us, help us. We're going to get killed. And next thing you know, phones work I, in fairy I tale land. I, I guess so. I don't know. There's Wi-Fi. I, I thought the same thing. Where's the like, castle's how... Wi-Fi router? I don't know, dude. I that... thought the same thing. I'm like, how, even if it's not even off Wi-Fi, like, how would it even connect? How? I don't know. And maybe this is, it makes sense in... You know, maybe there's a magical thing that they have or something that it's yeah, in the how, earlier what's books. What's signal like in the dungeon? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. So they like get up there. This stuff happens. A battle happens. Next thing you know, the evil queen. Because did you know that the evil queen apparently took a uh, corset lace and tried to choke, kill Snow White? That happens. Like in the Grimm version? I guess. I don't it's know. Been That's so a... long. I just I remember that she there's multiple poisoning attempts. Like she yeah. tries to give her a like a poison tipped comb and she puts it in her hair and then she dies and then the dwarves find it and they're like this is this I don't remember this comb and they take it out of her hair and then she pops back up like a <laughs> daisy. Right. I remember that bit because 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 what? <laughs> yeah, apparently she tries to do that and so the evil queen is like I got her and so she pulls one out and basically is like <laughs> to Snow White. And at this point... It's a vampire, Snow White. Yeah. Okay. And apparently, and this is the point in which she has a piece of the mirror, and her buddies are like, hey, 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 we're here, and yank her through the mirror and leave Evil Queen. At this point, you can kind of tell that she kind of likes the Evil Queen. Like, wink, oh, yeah. likes oh, her. Like, like, <laughs> like that. Like that. And, uh, and gets yanked through, and she's like, no, 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 frick. Um, I gotta go back because not my girlfriend. This hot, this hot evil queen is uh, in trouble, and ah, and, and she's like, fighting vampire Snow White. Yeah, and whatever. And so they're all like, "Bro, you need to stop doing this. Like, this is crazy." Because apparently, her two buddies are as two ladies that are married, and they're in there, and they're like, "We need you. You need to stop doing this. We're kind of mad that you keep doing this, and it's dangerous, and that whatever." You keep diving in and out yeah. of books and changing stories and almost getting killed. Yeah. And they're like, you need to stop. And she's like, I just have to go back one more time so I can save her. Yeah, rescue blah, blah, my girlfriend. Blah. Yeah. And they're like, mm. and so they go into her room. And apparently her room is the size of like a walk-in closet or something. And it's just like a bunch of garbage stuff that she just doesn't clean her room because she's like, what's the point? Well, she's living in books. Who yeah. needs to clean your room when you live in a book? Yeah. So there's apparently there's like one of the two. There's the title of my autobiography. <laughs> Who needs to clean your room when I live in a book? Yeah. <laughs> So one of them comes in and is like, hey, um, so 
we know you're having some like issues right now but basically we want to adopt a baby and she's like oh i mean cool cool good for you but she starts running through she's like okay that means i have to move out because obviously oh I can't they're gonna live use the my room. walk-in closet bedroom for yeah, their baby for the baby and she's like mm. but then the girl goes we would like you to be her godmother oh, and she's nice. like oh okay and that's the point in which she's like maybe i should stop running I should actually live my story out. Yeah, maybe you whatever. should stop playing and, and, and... Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. And uh, so she's like, but I, I have to go back and save the evil queen. And they're like, all right, whatever, I guess. So she ends up going back, and the evil queen is fine. Yeah, because she's, not... she's the evil queen. Yeah. She choked out vampire Snow White <laughs> yeah. with a corset lace, and then... Probably took her head and mounted it on the wall and then ate her heart in a meat pie for dinner because <laughs> she's the evil queen. Well, that's the thing is she ends up being, it sounds like she ran away from that as well and she's just living in a cottage in the woods. So now she's the Snow White, basically. Not the dwarves. Yeah. There's no dwarves. But she's in this cottage and she's like, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just here and that turned out okay. I'm just chilling but in the woods. Left me. And she's like, well, I didn't mean to leave you. I wouldn't have left you if, if I had a choice. And she's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. sure. And heard that whatever. before yeah and so they take the book right the book that was the original book and she's like you know what we're gonna write the end of our stories in the back of this book so she writes hers that she's gonna live or whatever and so she hands it to the evil queen and she takes forever to write in her little her book blah 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 blah, blah. and she instead of at the end she doesn't write and they lived happily ever after she just wrote she just wrote she just <laughs> writes uh yeah you, and she you went lived to college. happily <laughs> i went to college okay i didn't graduate i didn't technically get my certificate but it is but real. I, did. I mean technically i did all of the prerequisites they didn't give me the paper okay okay um but uh yeah so she just writes at the end and she lives happily or something like mm -hmm. that just to like there it is so they like walk out of the thing and they walk for a while and they end up kissing Sure. And that was something. And the evil queen's like, they come upon this castle that's pretty like mid. There she's like, this is exactly what I wanted. And they're like, it's beautiful. It's not like giant, you know, like so not they the just, cover of so whatever. So they're just walking through the, chilling through the woods, having a having a romantic moment. Mm -hmm. And then the, look, a free castle. Yeah, wow. basically. I want to walk through the woods and find a free <laughs> castle. And they're like, it's beautiful. And she's like, nice, come live with me. Let's let's you this uh, this will be the end of our story is we'll just live it out together mm -hmm. and she's like i cannot i have to go back they're gonna have a, i'm gonna be this kid's godmother like this isn't my story this is your i have story. to go i have to leave the book and go get chemo for my brain tumor. i have to go figure out my life now and so they go to the castle and it says they like sleep over we'll say and mm -hmm. again it just glosses over it's not yeah. explicit so don't come at me um and which was a turn i was like at the time when I, the book, all I knew was fantasy folklore. I did not know that it was LGBTQ. So that fantasy was a turn. <laughs> I was like, oh, here we are. Uh, yep. I should have, in the in the uh, synopsis of the beginning, it's like, and I've kissed every member of the royal family. Which should have been a hint. Yeah, of, a little bit. Hey, but I thought, mm, maybe they're just trying for the shock and awe, you know, sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. So, uh. Yeah, so then she ends up going home and leaving, and I don't, it, it just kind of, like, ends nicely. And then it just kind of peters out? That's yeah. sort of sad. Well, it, they're both happy, right, and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, there's that. I don't really know how to feel about it. I don't, I, I don't know how to feel about it. Because there's a part of me that was like, oh, I love that it was a turn, and it was a Oh, new that thing. Snow White was the evil one? Yeah, and, like, the, it, she's just jumping through and doing all this stuff and whatever, and you're like, huh, cool. But then there's a part of me that's like, I don't know if I'd recommend this to anyone. <laughs> it wasn't enough for me. Because I'm that person that's like, if the main character could get three-fourths of the way through and die, and then someone picks it up, I'm that person <laughs> that's like, oh, 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 never mind. You know, whatever. So I don't know how I feel about this in the general. That I, that I don't even know how to end this. I just am like, that's it. There it is. Well, there he is. kind of seems like... It's like, yeah, you should go out and you should live your own story. But if I fell into a book, met somebody that I liked a lot, 
went walking through the ca the forest and found an unattended magic castle, I'd be like, you know what? Uh, I guess this is I, my life I think now. This is my life now. <laughs> this is it. This is where I'm at. I mean, it's a sign. Are there are there pastries? Is there cheese? Great. I don't even. Maybe are there cheese pastries? Maybe you know? there's not even butlers in there. They're just, it's just an empty stock of a shuck of a what is it? Just an empty sh castle yeah. shell. Yeah, castle yeah, shell. Yeah, but still, you can judge that up. You can. Uh, you get. You get. She a, does have a little bit of a de magica. Yeah. So you you throw some tapestries in there and you just you 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 chill in your castle. Yeah. With your significant other and you your cocoa and and life is that sounds great to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, forget Ooh. being a godmother to people. I would I'm gonna sit in my castle you're, all day what long. What if you're the godmother of Annie from Gables? They're adopting an orphan. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Anne would be cool, but castle. But a castle. Maybe, okay, so first they adopt Anne of Green Gables, and mm -hmm. then they come and they live in a cottage you next to my castle. just bring them next to it? Or just let them live in the castle, it's big enough. I don't know, it's my castle. <laughs> <laughs> I need my space, and that space is this big. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know, Anne's kind of a lot sometimes. <laughs> Keep the wine high, and even further back. Maybe Jeff locked up. Yeah. Oh, poor Marilla. Oh my gosh. She's going to die by the evil queen on accident. Probably. Yeah. So, She'll look at the evil queen sideways and the evil queen will be like, oh, you shut that. You shut up. Yeah. I bet you she doesn't like red hair. She's an evil queen. Yeah. You know? She doesn't seem that accepting. Or no. maybe she is. She likes the lady. I don't know. Maybe. She died. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Anyways... At the end, read it if you feel intrigued. If you do feel intrigued by this book, please leave in the comments that you do and that you're going to read it and then let me know because, Rick, I don't know how I feel about it. Part of me is like, I got to read the, the first ones to make sure that I understand what's happening. And the other part of me is like, if I just let this go to the wind, it'll be okay. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think.